All right, so here we go. Uh, I have three equations, three unknowns. My three equations are x, nope, x plus y plus 2z equals 9. y minus z equals 9, and x plus z equals 4. Agree on that? Everybody see that? Now I'm going to write this in matrix form. We know what matrix form looks like now, right? It's going to be 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, negative 1, 1, 0, 1, and now I go x, y, z. It's equal to 9, 9, 4. Agree? Now, next part, I multiply by the inverse to both sides. Oh, crud. How do I multiply the inverse to both sides? I didn't know the inverse of this thing is, right? Turns out that's not easy to do. It's about four pages of instructions. You have to find the determinant. You need to do row echelon. You need to do all these fancy things for you to finish line. The good news is... Unlike substitution, your calculator can find the inverse simply by following the instructions. It's approximately 800 calculations, but your calculator can do it in about a fraction of a second. So we're now going to enjoy our calculator. Before I do that, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to remember that what I want to do, I'm going to call this matrix A. Make sense? I'm going to call this matrix B. Agree? Can we agree on that so far? Now, uh, you pin in your calculator, it's going to depend on your instructions for this. But what I'm going to do probably is this. I want you to find your calculator. I'm going to do the TI-1 because the TI-1 is absolutely the hardest one to ever figure out what you're supposed to do. And so we'll do the TI-1. If you are the Casio, there's a button on the lower left that says Matt. If you look at your screen, it already says Matt Matrix on there for you. If you were to click on that under the F1 for that, there you go. And you have a matrix right away. Like like that, you already got a matrix. You already got a matrix to look at. There's no shift. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Casio, on the front screen, the lower left, the top left-hand button is already ready for matrices. You just have to push the button. If, on the other hand, you have a TI. I have the button. Matrix, for a TI? Yeah. Well, that's weird. That's good. They're, they're finally get, catching up. Okay. If you don't, you're going to... Uh, this, you're going to have to hit Matrix. It should say Matrix right here. Boop, 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 right there. You should have a button that says Matrix, don't you? No? Yes. Oh, they took it off the TI-84, well, didn't they? Crud. Now it's like second, now it's second function, one. yeah. Second function, x to the negative 1. So I apologize. That used to be absolute values. They got rid of that and put that in math category. So yes, I, I got a too old a calculator here for you guys. I apologize. But uh, can everybody get to the screen? Your screen probably has more choices for matrices. OK, so I see a shake head back there. So I had to go back there because that's not working. So they're saying second function, x to the negative 1. So you're going to go, see that says matrix right here. You go second function matrix, and you're going to be right there. Okay? That means delete. You don't want to delete one. You might want to select one. All right. What did you do? I told you not to do anything. You did things. Stop. Okay. Now, just leave it for a moment. Okay? Leave it for a moment. Uh, I'm going to explain. It's everybody on this screen, whether you have a TI or a Casio, you should have this screen right in front of you right now. Okay. So, if you have a Casio, you're going to go right over to here, and you're going to tell me what size your matrix is. In this case, it was a 3x3 three three matrix, right? So you're going to make sure it says 3, and then you're going to write arrow, and you're going to put a second 3 there if you're in a Casio. 
If you're in a TR, you have to select this first. Nope, that's not what you have to do. All right, let's figure out what you have to do. Oh, la, 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 la. oh we have to edit. I'm going to edit matrix A. Enter. So if you're in a Casio, you just change it to 3 by 3. If you're in a TI, you have to now change it by editing it. So I'm going to go 3. I want a 3. And then I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go by 3. Yeah. Got it? And I'm going to hit Enter. You always hit Enter twice with the, TI because, with the TI because it's stupid. Now the Casio, you did 3 by 3, right? Yeah. You got it up there? And then you hit enter, and then it'll show you this field. And all we're going to do is fill it in. We're going to go back to where matrix A is, and I'm going to fill in the blanks, right? So I'm going to type in 1 here. No, I'm not. I'm going to type in 1 here. Nope, I typed it in. Oh. On, the, on the Casio, it shows it differently. Okay, so 1, enter. <laughs> 1, enter. On the on the. I'm going to Casio, please don't hit enter. You're just going to confuse the calculator. No, you want something there. Uh, I got a zero here. Remember putting your zeros. I got a one and a negative one. Make sure you use a negative button, not the minus sign. And then down here, um, I need a what? A one, a zero, and a one. So, Gregus, you just enter your first matrix in your cat in your cat calculator. You still didn't do it. All right, what do you got going over there? They go down here. Well, not there. Let's try to edit, and then we're going to select it, and it tells us I want to make, and then I'm going to do three, and then the arrow over, and then we'll do three, and then we're going to hit enter twice, and then we'll do the TI, and then you put all the numbers. You put all the numbers in, and then tell them to raise your hand when you got it done. Because we got another matrix to enter. I'm falling asleep. I apologize. But it's going to change these three by three equations into something doable, just like that. Why is it? Do I got one wrong one? Check to make sure it's the same, because otherwise bad things are going to happen, and I might have it wrong. One, two, zero, one, 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 zero, I think you just go. Uh, let's try it again. Maybe it'll get us out of here. No, it didn't. Just try it again. No, it no, didn't do it. Okay, so I'm going to quit. Kicks me all the way out. Good. Okay, so I'm going to clear that for a moment. Now I'm going to go back to the matrix line again because it's a... Uh, on, the, on the Casio, you just hit exit, and I'll show you this screen I'm going to get to in another three steps. So I go back to matrix. I'm going to go back to edit. I'm going to go back to edit. I want to edit B now, because I had a second matrix involved, right? The second matrix was the one on the right-hand side. I'm going to put that one in as well. Now, that matrix is a little different. It's a what by what? Three by one. It's a three by one or a one by three. Which one is it? How are we going to tell if we mess this up? What if I put in three by one? I'm going to put in a three by one. I go three by one, enter. Now, look at my picture. Is that what I wanted? Yes. Straight up and down, three by one is the one I want. Agreed? Three by one is the one I want. So now I'm going to go in there and I'm going to start monkeying with it. Now, Casios, you're doing B, right? And you're making do a three by one. And then you're starting to put the numbers in. Everybody with us? Casio people? No, I'm not doing it for you, but your calculator is like 10 times easier than theirs. So it's not really fair. Are you okay? And then I put the seven matrix in. What's the B matrix? B matrix will be 994, right? Mm -hmm. 9, enter, 9, enter, 4, enter, enter. No, I don't want variables at all. I'm solving for the variables. You don't put a variable in these things, it'll just freak out the calculator, anyways. It won't let me get Okay, hold on. Where are you? You're in the 3x3. Three three. Is you all ready to go? Okay. So now we're going to hit the CSS exit.
That's it. Oh, there you go. And then you're going to go down to B, and now you're going to make a 3 by 1. By the way, if it doesn't show up right, you did it backwards, making a 1 by 3. You know, just, you don't have to memorize that. Just, it should appear like the matrix you want, right? All right, feeling good? Feeling good. Now, here's where the instructions get very different depending on what calculator you have, so please listen. Listen. We ready? Listen. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, second quit again because, of course, it's, I can't figure out how to get around the silliness that is. Um, now I need a matrix, so I want to select one. So it says we had we had the way to select it. So on this one, I'm going to go back to matrix. It said A. I'm going to enter, and it's, that's matrix A right there. Now what do I want to do to matrix A? I want to do its inverse, right? I'm going to do the inverse to both sides. It cancels out left. I don't care about that. I know that's going to be okay. I want an inverse here. How do I do it right? Do an inverse on this calculator. Oh, my goodness. You guys don't have the negative 1 button either. Ah, you do? Where is it? It's right above. Oh, there it is. Okay. Inverse. And then I'm going to do B. So back up. If you're on the TI, you should be with me. You chose matrix. It gave you the names. I'm going to choose B this time. I'm going to hit enter. So you go matrix, and then you select the matrix you want. It has to do the inverse, so I did negative 1. Hope this works. TIs are a little bit fuzzy. What? You had one already? Uh, you shouldn't have an inverse for B right there. Get rid of it. It should look like this. Wait, then how do you do that? I'm going to get that in a second. The TIs are much harder to do. Has everybody got this? Let's hope it gives me an answer. Right, well, that's what it said. It knows to multiply. We put the matrix next to each other without a plus or minus. Okay, so TIs, that's what I get for an answer. Well, while we're doing that, let's do Casio's. Let's do Casio's. Casio's. Ready for the Casio's? I'm going to steal somebody's Casio so I can do it. So I get you all the right steps. I'm going to do this is the first one while I'm here. Yeah. Okay. So here's what you're gonna do, man. Your life is much, much better. So uh, X and L. Okay. So I'm gonna do. I want a matrix. So I'm gonna go math. Not optional. I'm not. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I want an option. So see this map? Matrix. And then what's, what kind of matrix do I want? I'm going to matrix. Which one do I want? A. All right. And then I'm going to do the negative one of that. So the inverse is. So where's the inverse button? Right there. Oh. Okay. And then matrix B, right? Matrix B. B. Ah, no. Okay. So delete. Oh, I didn't even write that down. That's weird. Okay, so matrix. What about once you get this up? It's much quicker to do it, right? I'll actually do it much better. But uh, alpha A, and then I got to do the inverse. So I do the inverse button right there, right? Boom. And then I'm going to do matrix B, so matrix. And then I got to go B. I keep doing the same thing. Okay, so now I'm going to do try alpha B, right? Enter. 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 So here we go. Option. That one's matrix. We have matrix. And then it says, do you want a matrix? I'm going to say, yeah, I want a matrix. Okay. Which matrix do you want? Alpha. What A? So we have alpha A. And then I gotta get the inverse of it.